Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have two squares, and these two squares have their uh, vertex at this point, this point, to be on the same position. They have the same point, and uh, they have uh, 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 their other vertices, this vertex and this vertex is combined by a segment which is three units and the other pair of their two uh, vertices the other vertex is combined by this five unit segment and we are required to find the combined areas of the squares okay so first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, uh, represent or label the sides of the square. So for A1, we can label this as A for all of its sides. So this is A and this is A, this is A and this is A. And for the green, we label this as B and this as B and this as B and this as B. Okay, so next is we use the cosine law since we are given two sides a and b if you focus on this uh this triangle let us shade this triangle so if you focus on this triangle we are given two sides a b a and b and an opposite side which is three units and we are given this unknown angle so Say that this is theta, and for the other triangle, let us shade this other triangle. Okay, so this other triangle has an opposite side to this angle, uh, this angle, which is this should be, of course, uh, 180. This is 180 degrees minus theta. And it is opposite to this five unit segment with the same uh, adjacent side to this angle 180 minus theta as A and B. But the opposite side is five units for this triangle. Okay, so why is this 180 degrees minus theta? Okay, so since these two, uh, I mean, this is of course a complete revolution that is 360. And if we subtract this uh, 90 to these two 90s to 360, then this would become 360 minus uh, 180 is 180. So, these two angles are actually supplementary to each other. So if one angle is theta, then uh, the next angle is should be a supplement which is 180 minus theta. So they actually sum up to 180 degrees. Okay, so next is we use the cosine law. So since we are given this opposite side 3. So the cosine law is uh, if you have here this triangle, for example, this triangle, and you have this angle, say this is uh, A, and this is uh, this is A, and this is B, and this is C. So for the cosine law, we have A square is equal to 2, I mean, b square, b square plus c square minus 2 times bc times the cosine of the angle in between the two uh, sides. So the, the two sides, which is B and C. So cosine alpha. 
I mean A cosine A. Okay, so next is uh, we use this cosine law. So for cosine law, for this triangle, the green shaded triangle, we have the opposite side to theta is equal to three, but you need to square that three square is equal to a square plus b square minus two times a times b cosine of theta and this will be our equation one okay so now for the other triangle the red shaded triangle we have here uh, this is the opposite side to the angle is 5 so 5 square is equal to so 5 square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cosine of 180 degrees minus theta okay so but we need to set aside this uh, but that is already our equation too. But we just need to set aside this and focus on cosine of uh, 180. Okay, so cosine of 180 minus theta. 180 minus theta. So for the difference of two angles for cosine, we have if you have cosine of alpha minus beta, that will be cosine alpha times cosine beta, the first and the second angle, plus the sine of the first angle and sine of the second angle. So in our case, we have here cosine of 180 degrees, cosine 180 degrees times cosine of theta minus cosine of i mean sine sorry sine minus sine minus sine of 180 times sine of theta okay so uh if we simplify this uh we can say that this sine 180 is actually zero Okay, zero. So this becomes zero. So sine 180 degrees is if you draw a uh, if you graph that sine of uh, negative 180 and this lies on this point 180 degrees. So sine for that is zero because there is only an x component but negative. So you have no y component. So uh, sine of 180 degrees is zero. Okay. So this whole expression is zero. This whole expression. And for the cosine of 180 degrees. So this is the oh, same angle 180. But you have here, it falls on the negative side or the left. So this becomes negative, negative one. And you have here cosine of uh, theta. So cosine of 180 minus theta is actually equal to cosine of 180 minus theta is equal to negative of cosine of uh, theta. Okay, so now going back to the equation that we got earlier so we have this cosine of 180 minus theta is actually equal to cosine of neg a negative cosine of theta so we can actually replace this uh, to b so we just copy this 5 square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cosine 
of 180 minus theta which is equal to negative cosine of theta. Okay, so simplifying, we have to copy this 5 square equal to a square plus b square. Then since you have these two negatives, if you multiply that, it becomes positive. 2ab cosine of theta. So this would be our equation too. Okay, so we have used cosine law because cosine law has the value of the uh, square of the uh, side of one square and the other square. And it therefore denotes the area. So we just need to add the two equations that we got earlier. And notice that this part cancels out. This 2, negative 2ab two cosine theta and positive 2ab cosine of theta. And we are left with this. On the left hand side, we have 3 square plus 5 square. So we just need to add this. Plus 5 square is equal to. This is actually. Uh, if we can actually combine this into a single part. So we have 2 times a square plus b square 2 times the quantity a square plus b square so we can actually divide both sides by 2 and therefore we have a square just cancel this a square plus b square is equal to 3 square plus 5 square all over 2 and a square plus uh, b square is actually the combined area of the square so because a square a is the side of the square a1 and b square is the area for the uh, square with side b side b for area 2 so, we just need to simplify this. So, we have a square plus b square is equal to, this becomes 9, 9 and 25. So, this becomes 34. I mean 34, sorry. 34 over 2 becomes 17. So, 17 square units so area 1 plus area 2 equal to 17 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. And if you have solutions or other solutions for this problem, uh, please just write it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Bye.